Welcome Libra to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 15th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. It's a big week, you know this, there's a lot of emphasis on that home and emotional sector which has been really so potently powerful over these last 16 years with Pluto. But it can also help you to see how far you've come. If you are doing anything uh, in terms of a property, uh, rental or purchase, there could be a real step forward that is very, very pleasing. Also, if you're wanting to declutter uh, wherever you are in the world, but certainly if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a bit colder and you're a bit more conscious of your possessions, you could want to liberate yourself a little bit, or you could get something that hasn't quite been working as well as it could do. Uh, you can get it up and running with Saturn in a terrific link with Mercury, your ability to get onto the detail of things and you know really get your home that much more ordered is certainly to the fore. But Venus has been in your sector of everyday communication since the 29th of December. Certainly been added to your natural charm, but of course you do have Saturn and Neptune in your sector of obligations and responsibilities. And someone could, in some ways, quite subtly, try to appeal and almost pull at your heartstrings, if you like, to your, uh, to your better nature, uh, to help them out. So they could use language in a way which is hard to resist. And that starts from Wednesday and goes on to Sunday, but peaks on Friday. So the square between Venus and Neptune may be a conversation. It could be with a sibling, a neighbour. And it could see you thinking, ah, I really want to do my best to help this situation. But then all those other energies in your fourth house are saying, look, I've learned a lot about making sure that I protect my, uh, my agency, if you like, that you don't get pulled into being uh, distracted by other people, uh, you know, sort of getting the better of, of your good nature. The quarter moon, which occurs on Thursday, is also in your sector of relationships. You may find yourself playing referee between two people that you're close to, that are struggling to get on, or someone in the family may seem a little bit out of sorts, or you can't quite chime with someone. Then we have the Pluto Kazemi on uh, Saturday. This won't be repeated in Capricorn for 220 years. It is truly historic. But it really gives you a chance to think about all the things that have happened over the years since 2008. Pluto may have taken some important people out of your situation. It may have had something to do with where you're living or family life or your own relationship with your own emotional needs, your sense of security, physical or emotional. Big transformations have occurred. May not have been easy, but what you can do is really celebrate all the knowledge you've gained, all the understanding that's accumulated in that time. The sun moves into the sunny fifth house of your chart on uh, later on on Saturday to be joined by Pluto on Sunday, what a combination. And Pluto is going to be super powered by Mars on the 14th of February. We also have Venus moving into your fifth house, your ruler. Uh, so the second half of February can be an exciting time for you socially, romantically, creatively. A lot of warmth and sun are coming in. I think it's important to understand that Aquarius does share the commonality of Saturn with Capricorn, it's not necessarily going to be uh, a walk in the park. We've still got some big challenges in the world going on. But I feel for you, it really is time for you to showcase what makes you uh, a leader sign, a cardinal sign, your passion, your power, your conviction, uh, your talent, your flair. Yes, you've been so attuned to supporting others with Saturn and Neptune in the sixth house, Saturn since March the 7th last year, Neptune since 2012. And also with Pluto in the fourth house, yeah, there's been a, a, the potential for a lot of big changes, but now you're given the chance to reposition and you know turn into uh, uh, a, a 
part of your life which helps you to express your magnificence, your radiance, your warmth, your talent. And if you're really wanting to bring success or romance or joy into your life, Pluto can certainly help you to achieve that right through to 2043, apart from 11 weeks from the 2nd of September this year. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you've yet to check out your year 2024 deep dive video, please see the link beneath this video. If you would like to ascend above this zodiac forecast and understand what year 2024 will hold for you in terms of your personal astrology, if you give me three pieces of unique birth data of time, date and place, or date and place if you don't know your time, I'll produce for you your transit forecast for the next year, which is how the planets in the sky are interacting with your natal birth chart. No two natal birth charts are exactly the same, and this information will give you searing insights into what you can expect, but also how you can plan your responses in advance. There's also 30% off, and in my special package, you'll get your free zodiac, love, Chinese and Indian forecasts for all 12 signs for the next year. Please see the link beneath this video for more.